did how did uh Stevie sing it, y'all? We are amazed but not amused by all the things you said that you do. Uh, you're much concerned but not involved with decisions that are made by you. Ooh. But we are sick and tired of hearing your song. Telling us you're going to change right from wrong. Cause if you really want to hear our views, you haven't done nothing. Hey! Y'all remember that? <laughs> um, oh, I don't know if I can sing anymore, but <laughs> second verse was the best, wasn't it? Mm. Waking up to a nightmare. And we are sick and tired of hearing the song. Tell us how you gonna change right from wrong. Cause if you really wanna hear our views, you haven't done nothing. Jackson Five is an alone with me. Say, do the what? Come on and do the what? Ow! Ah, uh, we do not care to wake up to the nightmare. Let me stop. Sometimes I can't stop myself. That's becoming real life. Mmm. Oh. But when misled, woo, a person's heart can turn as cold as ice. Um, y'all, let me stop right now. Uh, I heard somebody say, let me get this straight right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, I need some participation with this, because how many of y'all thought, I mean, it's real important that, for me, so I'm going to say, how many of y'all thought that Joe Biden really was going to change stuff, or it's just that you just couldn't deal with Donald Trump no more, okay, because I fall into that category, but for a different reason. Let me be real clear about what I think about politics. It's all theater. They both are different wings on the same damn bird. Do you think it would be so difficult for Joe Biden not to sign an executive order uh, to protect black folk in a voting right if his ass was on our team? Huh? Okay. So... I'm not under no illusion. And if you stupid enough to think that Donald Trump was going to make us, people say, yeah, I was better in business under down under Republicans. Yeah, I was better in business though under Republicans. That might be true. And for that purpose is why a lot of us didn't mind voting Republican. Okay? But... Let me make sure I significantly say this. When you got a crazy personality disordered person and you don't see it, and they right in front of you wreaking havoc on the world, telling lies, doing all this thing covertly in your face, making deals with Russia, doing all kinds of underhanded, sleeping with prostitutes, having them pissing all over the floor allegedly, on what the... And this is what you want to represent the United States of America and as a president talking about because you're getting paid? Uh, that's what's wrong with us. That's what's wrong. What won't you do for some money? At this point, I think just about anything. 
you'll lay down with dogs and get up with fleas. You'll vote for somebody because you said, well, he made my bag good, but he raped your mother. How far will y'all go? I was never under any illusion that Joe Biden was going to save us. What I said is, he was going to stop a lot of, he stopped a lot of people from just going over the cliff that have anxiety issues. And, um, and a lot of y'all have these issues, but you don't know it. So you go out and take it out on your wife or your community, or you pull a gun on the next person. You don't understand the energy that's out here that's destroying people. And you have to be able to identify that energy because you have to, that's the energy you don't want. That energy that uh, uh, <laughs> stormed the White House. But your black ass ain't going to do that. Why? Because you live in fear. So it behooves you to stay away from energy that would do that. Okay? Thank you. You think that Joe Biden. Uh, if you think people were under illusions that Joe Biden was going to be a special guy, well, I can speak for myself. I did. I just knew he was quite the contrast, and I couldn't take no more of the rhetoric and the lies and somebody pissing on me and telling me it's raining. Um, Donald Trump was a bit much, as we say. So now all his lies and stuff is coming to pass because those of us who are old enough to know Donald Trump, we're repulsed by his presidency. See, some of y'all own barely in y'all forties and you know thirties, whatever. Y'all think Donald Trump? Donald Trump is a problem, and he's been a problem for a long time. For those of us past fifty, past sixty, we know this. So we glad that his damn uh, M uh, fake ass empire. Come down. Ask people in New York about Donald Trump. I mean, now you talking about the ones that try to like uh, be stupid, like Ray J and Puffy and these guys that want to take pictures, allegedly, or you know, I'm saying, uh, uh, so can show other black people that they bossing out, taking pictures with a man who wanted to have those young men in Central Park killed. Taking out a full page ad. You should be ashamed to have taken a picture with somebody like that. Uh, Ray J. Go on, see, this is the problem we got with these Negroes in our community. And then you want to talk about, uh, am I under any illusion? Everybody's sick and need a serious doctor. So, all I'm saying is that Democrat, excuse me, Republican. Different wings, same bird. Now Republicans need one more seat, one seat, and they got control of the Senate. Okay, it's a game. It go back and forth. All right? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what they do. It's theater, y'all. It's theater. So what we going to do? What is our plan? What is it? We have to think about a nation within the nation. Otherwise, we doomed. You see this shit? <laughs> he didn't, they didn't even do the John Lewis voting act. That was their colleague. And the only executive he ordered was he signed was not to mess with Asians. Not to not. I mean, not that I'm saying that I, you know I want to see the Asians abused, but I think they have a way more stronger community and backbone, and they have a country to back them up. And the poor slave has nothing, and that's why won't nobody back us. That's why he won't sign no executive order to help us out, cause we we they negros. We ain't negros until we, we decide we ain't going to be no more. So they don't care what happens to us. Ain't nobody going to sign no executive order 
for somebody that they deem that ain't even human? Think about it. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I hope this video gets played. I'll see you in the next video.